For one daily Bitcoin pod, let's get it. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest Bitcoin technical analysis and quoting Max Kaiser, Bitcoin hash keeps going higher in the fight against AI. AI will die from energy starvation. Max also says when you remove the wash trading from all the non-Bitcoin coins, Bitcoin's dominance rises to 98%. And this just in, MicroStrategy's $4.6 billion Bitcoin investment is now in the green after this week's price increase. That's 158,000 Bitcoin, which will never be sold. Hot will be thy name. Also in today's show, Chainlink price hits new highs with a 22% surge in a single day. I'll be breaking down the latest Chainlink technical analysis, as well as prosecutors reject effective altruism as a viable defense. In the SBF trial, I'll be giving you the latest updates with Sam Bankman Freed in court, as well as Matrix Port's bold forecast. They say Bitcoin is set to hit $56,000 per coin upon the BlackRock ETF approval. Also, Rich Dad Robert Kiyosaki says Bitcoin is headed for 135000 per coin, while gold will soon take off. Quoting him here on X, Bitcoin testing 30000 Next stop for Bitcoin is $135,000. Send it. Also in today's show, I'm going to be sharing with you a timeline for a $1 million Bitcoin price within the next three years. We're also going to be discussing a spot Bitcoin ETF sending the Bitcoin price skyrocketing by over 3,200%, hitting a $1 million per coin. I'm also going to be sharing this timeline. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. All this plus so much more in today's show. Massive shout out to everyone out there. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button so you can receive daily premium crypto news alerts and you'll also get a shout out. That's right. For now on, all new subscribers will get a shout out on screen. So also make sure to smash the like button as it helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And a quick shout out to everyone in the live chat. As you can see, we integrated a new overlay with the chat now incorporated into the video. So all the interactions will get recognition. You'll get shouted out. So make sure to say hello. Don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Massive shout out to our moderators. Uh, Bitcoin Maximus, Digital Dankness, shout out to McLovin, good to see you fam, Dollar Zero G Row, what it do, Larry Lowe, what's up, good to see you as well, Turf T, welcome, Relaxing Station, welcome to the live stream, as you can see, the audio is on point today, so you gotta appreciate that, and massive shout out to all of our Patreons who recently gave a pledge, shout out to Bring Facts, I appreciate the $5 per month pledge, and the Patreon, if you want to help support our Patreon, it's patreon.cryptonewsalerts.net or simply find the link in the description right down below. Also, shout out to Walter D for his contribution via Patreon. Means a lot. Even if it's a small amount, it means the world as it adds up. Also, we have Zero Dollar G Row who pledged $47 per month via Patreon. Much love, much respect. Shout out to uh, Zero Dollar G Row. We also have Igor pledge $5 via uh, Patreon. Much love, much respect. And we also have uh, Jeremy Anderson who pledged $47 uh, via Patreon. So I just want to give a shout out to everyone for helping to support this show. I greatly appreciate that. Also, of course, massive shout out to all the new uh, subscribers on the show as well. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe and you'll get a shout out on the screen. So shout out to Igor and everyone else. Here's what the YouTube... Uh, you know what I mean? When you subscribe, here's what it looks like, which will pop on the screen. Uh, congratulations, Jeremy Anderson. I appreciate your Patreon pledge. And here's the actual subscriber notification, just FYI. Um, and before I get any further, let me actually reset my Zoom <laughs> on my cameras because that don't look good. Uh, just went off the Zoom. So let me fix that. Just take one second. And then we'll get started and kick this baby into high gear. So massive shout out to everyone in the live chat. As you know, this is a live and interactive show. I'm just going to fix my, there you go. Rick Cooper, congratulations. Welcome. Uh, appreciate you subscribing to the show. I'm going to turn autofocus off so that doesn't mess me up later on when we get into full gear. Uh, we have two cameras, so I have to switch the other camera as well. Make sure that the uh, here we go. Make sure that this is on properly, the settings. We're going to basically do widescreen, and then we're going to turn the autofocus off so it doesn't switch in the middle of the show. And now we should be golden and good to go. Let me know if you can see me and hear me clear before we kick off into high gear, because you already know. Let's freaking go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all right, let's 
freaking get this baby started right then, shall we? Boom. Welcome, everyone. This is podcast episode number 1438. I'm your host, JV, and today is October 22nd, 2023. And yes, it is Sunday, fun day, stack those sats day. You already know. Let's kick off today's show with our market watch as we do each and every day. You should be able to see the screen right now. We got Bitcoin currently correcting, hovering just under $30,000. Hopefully, we retest and break north. We also have Ether barely in the green, trading back above $1,600, while XRP, Cardano, and Solana all correcting in the red, while BNB, Ton, Matic, and Chainlink are breaking out and in the green. And checking out coinmarketcap.com, the current crypto market cap sits at $1.14 trillion with roughly $38 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. We've got the Bitcoin dominance on the climb at 51.3%, with the Ether dominance pretty stagnant at 17.3%. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past 24 hours, Aave up almost 10%, trading at 70 uh, six bucks, followed by Chainlink up 6%, trading at $9.42, followed by Pepe up 4.6%, followed by Quant. And checking out the top 100 crypto gainers of the past week, we have a mixture of green and red as there's a handful in the green, including Ave leading the pack here along with Hex and Chainlink for the day, or I should say for the week. And checking out the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, we're currently rated a 53, which is neutral. Yesterday was a 63, last week a 45 and last month, a 43 in fear. So there you have it, fam. How many of you are currently bullish on the King Crypto and anticipating a move upwards this week? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments right down below. Now let's dive into our Bitcoin technical analysis. Check out the charts where the Bitcoin price action is likely to go next. Let's break this baby down. Popular analyst Ali Martinez had painted a negative picture of Bitcoin's possible price trajectory within the next 24 hours. In the day, the premier crypto, as I shared, is on the cusp of reclaiming 30,000. It's kind of been a roller coaster ride back and forth since attacking that crucial zone. So here we go. Ali Martinez made Made that post in an attempt to evaluate the formation of a potential head and shoulders pattern for the king crypto in the daily chart. Generally, such patterns indicate the market uh, that the bulls are struggling to drive an asset's price to a higher value. Martinez states that indicators on the Bitcoin daily chart point to an incoming price dip within the next day. For example, he notes that the TD sequ uh, sequential indicator uh, designed to identify possible points of trend reversals is currently showing a green nine candlestick, which can be interpreted as a potential sell signal, quoting the analyst here, there is a lot of talk around a potential head and shoulders pattern forming on the Bitcoin daily chart. Let's dissect it. The Bitcoin daily chart hints at a possible sell signal emerging tomorrow, which would officially mean, uh, yeah, Monday, based on the TD sequential indicator flashing the green nine candlestick. Now, the veteran analyst also points to the relative strength index, as we know as the RSI, another indicator targeted at recognizing trend reversals. Martinez states that the RSI on the Bitcoin daily chart crossed 74.2, which is a level known to induce sharp price retracements since March. However, the analyst also provided a clause to his latest price prediction. The analyst stated that Bitcoin could avoid the incoming sell-off, but only if Bitcoin closes in the current daily candlestick at above the $31,500 mark, and at this time, we're just shy of 30 now, in other news, there appears to be a high level of growing confidence in Bitcoin at the moment. Recent data from Into the Block reveals a notable increase in the long-term Bitcoin holdings as 80% of the circulating Bitcoin has not been moved from an investor wallet in the last six months. Where my long-term hodlers at put Diamond Hands or LTH in that live chat, and I'll be giving everyone a shout out. Now, a crypto analyst with the username Slim Daddy <laughs> also shared that the total balance of Bitcoin owned by hodlers, an example, the investors that have held Bitcoin for over a year recently reached a new height of 13.5 million Bitcoin. Let's go. The analyst believes that the continuous accumulation of Bitcoin has been the driving force behind the token's robust price uh, performance. Despite the series of market turbulent events, the maiden crypto had remained amongst the headlines this year with an astounding gain of 70% since the start of the year. Not too shabby as the current high for the year is still 32,000. So personally, I'd love to recapture that resistance, flip it into a support, and continue to march north 
onwards and upwards. And looking at the one day daily signals, according to Trading View, currently there are sell, uh, four sell signals for Bitcoin, seven neutral and 15 buy. So it means it's a great buying opportunity according to these indicators. And according to the oscillators, there's three sell signals, six neutral and two buy. And for the moving averages, there's one sell signal, one neutral and 13 buy signal. So BTFD, take advantage of that freaking dip. And quoting the high priest a Bitcoin, the one and only Max Kaiser, as he shares here, Bitcoin hash keeps going higher in the fight against AI. AI will die from energy starvation. He also says that when you remove the wash trading from all the non-Bitcoin coins, Bitcoin's true dominance rises to 98%. So there you have it. How high do you feel the Bitcoin DOM is likely to climb this cycle? And breaking news with MicroStrategy, their 4.6 billion Bitcoin investment is now officially in the green after this week's price increase. So they have 158,000 BTC, which will never be sold. Bring it and let's freaking go. I get excited when I see MicroStrategy continuing to accumulate, stack those sats, DCA, and hodl for the long term. I think that is obviously the brilliant play. You want to follow the smart money. And what is the smart money doing in crypto right now? You guessed it. They're hodling and getting prepared for this Bitcoin halving, the spot Bitcoin ETF, and so many bullish catalysts in the market right now. Can you say bullish? Now let's break down our next story of the day and do a little bit of Chainlink technical analysis. I don't cover altcoins also often, but Chainlink has been breaking out. It has a viable use case, meaning a real utility, considered by many the missing uh, uh, link of the blockchain. So let's break this down and do a little bit of analysis. If you're currently holding on to any chain link or bullish on this cryptocurrency, let me know your thoughts. And we'll talk about that as well a little later in the show. So here we go. Following a week dominated by Bitcoin and its positive performance, chain link emerged as one of the best performers in the crypto market over the weekend. This comes after a long period of relative silence and sideways movement for the tokens price. The abrupt significant surge in chain link price may have surprised many investors, but it only further highlights the volatile nature of this cryptocurrency market. So according to data from CoinGecko, the price of Chainlink is up by more than 22% in the past 24 hours. And over the past day, Link's double-digit price explosion has seen the altcoin surpass the $9 mark, resulting in a multi-month high. Now, Link's performance appears to be even more notable on the weekly chart, with nearly a 30% increase in the past week. And although Chainlink maintains a substantial percentage of its gain, the token's price seems to be facing significant resistance at the $9 50 cent zone. This reflects the uncertain sentiment of investors who seem unsure whether the current rally is a fluke or a bullish hint. Nevertheless, a crypto analyst expects Link to build on this positive momentum. Quoting a trader, Max, who noted Chainlink price has been broken out of a consolidation wedge spanning more than a year. The analyst postulates that a close above $8.20 on the weekly time frame will see Chainlink price rise to $12.54, representing a significant 30% projection from the current price point, quoting him here on X, a link broke out after 512 days of consolidating inside a wedge. That's a long bear, right? Now, a weekly close above $8.20 most likely, and we're heading straight to $12.54 and beyond, rocket ship to the moon. I don't think we'll see any retest of the breakout point, expecting upside continuation in the next weekly candle. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the analyst. Now let's discuss what's likely behind this multi-month high. A dive into the chain link network activity can help understand the driving force behind the latest resurgence of the link price. Interestingly, a recent report from the on-chain analytics platform Santiment offers insight into the activity levels of the chain link network. Santiment's data report posted an X highlight that chain link had been experiencing increased activity over the past few days. Specifically, the network witnessed significant growth, reaching through three-month highs in terms of well transactions, active addresses, and trading volume over the weekend. I mean, here's the chart. Charts don't lie. It shows you the well address activity hitting three-month highs as everything continues to go upwards, which is a good indicator. Now, Link saw more than 220 well transactions above the $100,000 mark since Saturday, October 22nd, while nearly 5,000 unique addresses interacted with the altcoin on the same day. Furthermore, Chainlink recorded more than $800 million in Link trading volume just on Saturday 
And while these data points don't exactly indicate whether buying transactions are the prevailing activity on Chainlink, the ensuing link price rally suggests a possible accumulation trend. So there you have it, fam. Again, let me know if you are currently bullish or bearish on Chainlink or what altcoins in particular you're most bullish on for this crypto cycle. Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Now let's break down our next story of the day and discuss the latest what is happening with Sam Bankman-Fried. Effective altruism and the latest with the court trial as this continues to break down. Again, massive shout out to everyone in that live chat. Here we go. A reoccurring motive during the trial has been that Bankman-Fried's commitment to effective altruism, a philanthropic, uh, a, a philanthropic, <laughs> philanthropic ideology aimed at maximizing individuals' impact through activities like charitable contributions and career choices. Bankman Freed, who was recently on trial for defrauding investors of billions of dollars, aligned himself with fellow proponents of his philosophy, including Nishad Singh, the head of engineering, and Caroline Ellison, who is not only his former girlfriend, but also the CEO of his trading firm, Alameda Research. Now, prosecutors are not amused by Bankman Freed's allegiance to effective altruism. They're not buying it. They stated that the disgraced crypto mogul's attempt to assert that his decisions were guided by a desire to make positive impact on the world, which is not a defense to fraud or other criminal charges, right? In a letter to the court, the prosecutors highlighted that effective altruism cannot serve as a defense. They also added that any assertion that Bankman Freed's absence of wrongful intent stems from his adherence to an unconventional moral belief system regarding uh, uh, deceit and theft, prioritizing his personal interpretation of long-term benefits, would hold no relevance concerning the mens re for wire fraud. The motive that the defendant had or claimed to have had for committing a crime charged is irrelevant to its guilt or non-guilt. Whether this defendant committed acts in order to further a political goal or for a similar reason for his personal gain or for the gain of somebody else doesn't excuse his acts if he committed them and violated the law. And they make a great point. Also, here's some highlights of what's going on for the third week. The trial that has now been heading to the end in its third week involved a series of witnesses displaying dozens of pieces of evidence that spell trouble for Bankman Freed. According to accounts provided by his former colleagues, Bankman Freed instructed them to access funds from the FTX customers without their knowledge, which is stealing, <laughs> without consent for purposes unrelated to the exchange's standard operations. The lawyers representing the former FTX CEO asserted their intention to demonstrate that he acted in good faith and held the reasonable belief that his actions were in the best interest of his customers and investors. The prosecution sought to challenge this assertion by highlighting instances where Bankman Freed seemed to have participated in misleading business practices and made public statements that contradicted his private actions. So there you have it, fam. How do you think this will likely play out? For Sam Bankman-Fried, things are not looking so good. If they are found guilty, whether Bankman-Fried or their executives, they can be serving lifetime sentences in jail. That's right. I heard he could be serving maybe up to 95 or 98 years. And we all know you're probably not going to live to 100 years old uh, in the slammer, but that's a result of you defrauding investors out of billions and billions of dollars. I mean, it's Minnie Madoff. In fact, it's a bigger scam than Minnie Madoff. And I can't believe that Bankman Freed made off with so many billions of dollars in investor funds. But obviously, they're going to have to pay the consequences. It'll be interesting to see how many years Gary Singh, Caroline Ellison, and Bankman Freed get. Let me know your expectations in those comments right down below. I greatly appreciate that. Now, let's discuss a $56,000 Bitcoin price target incoming, according to the latest report from Matrix Port. Let's break this baby down. While maintaining that 30,000 mark is proving challenging for Bitcoin, there appears to be a noteworthy surge in bullish sentiment and can be attributed in part to the increased optimism of investors regarding the potential approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF in the United States. Send it. Let's go. The potential approval can easily push the Bitcoin price from 42,000, even as high as 56,000. Currently, again, we're just shy of 30,000, according to this new report. So far, the US SEC declared to grant approval for a spot Bitcoin ETF despite numerous applications. Matrix Port's latest report weighs in on this matter, speculating on the potential impact of BlackRock's eagerly awaited spot Bitcoin ETF approval. The report draws a comparison to the substantial $120 billion precious metals ETF industry. If even a modest 10 to 20% of investors currently engaged in precious metal ETFs decide to diversify their portfolios by allocating funds into the Bitcoin ETFs, this shift could channel a notable 12 
$12 billion to $24 billion into these crypto investment options. And personally, I think that's extremely conservative. What are your thoughts, fam? As we all know, the precious metal ETF market, there's no true price discovery. There's manipulation. They spoof the markets, and that is uh, common practice. Now, the crypto financial services platform latest analysis suggests if BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF does get approved, the asset can experience a significant price surge. Send it. Let's go. Tether's market cap, often viewed as a proxy for potential ETF inflows, also plays a crucial role in this scenario. A $24 billion increase into Tether's market cap is predicted to drive Bitcoin's price to $42,000 per coin, reflecting the conservative estimate. However, a more substantial influx of $50 billion, accounting for just 1% allocation from registered investment advisors, can propel Bitcoin to soar to an impressive $56,000 per coin. Quoting BlackRock here, our earlier reports analyzed the 15,000 strong U.S. registered investor advisor community overseeing around $5 trillion. This group holds immense potential and even a modest 1% allocation. Recommendation for Bitcoin would usher in $50 billion in inflows. It's also important to note that BlackRock submitted its application for the spot Bitcoin ETF June 15th, and the Bitcoin price surged from 24.8 to over 30,000, just like that, representing over a 20% rise within seven days following the filing. And BlackRock even submitted a revised version of its S1 app for the Bitcoin spot ETF on Wednesday, a few days ago, in response to a series of updated filings by uh, competing firms. And in its October 18th filing, the investment giant made alterations to a risk disclosure with regard to potential impact of tumultuous events within the broader crypto industry on its share prices. And while its prior statement addressed the influence of fraud and security lapses on major Bitcoin exchanges, BlackRock extended the caution to encompass Bitcoin itself, deeming the market unregulated and lax transparency. So there you have it, fam. Let me know when Bitcoin ETF and how much in capital inflows do you think this will likely usher in to the Bitcoin market? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Massive shout out to everyone in that live chat. Passive Income AI, Robbie P, Maximus, Zero Dollar G Row, Bring Facts, Will Stop Sun versus Guru. What it do? Appreciate you guys supporting the movement. Shout out to Nate. Uh, shout out to McLovin, Robert Brady. Good to see you guys always. Shout out to From Eddie and all of you guys, Glenn T, uh, Truffle, and uh, uh, Uber Hodler. It's good to see y'all. I'm going to be uh, doing the live Q&A here in just a few moments. Just wanted to give you guys quick shout outs. Now let's dive into our next story of the day. Rich Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, is projecting, guess what? A $135,000 Bitcoin price action. So let's break this baby down. He actually just recently tweeted on X, and I guess we should call it post now. No more tweets, right? Anyways, uh, Rich Dad said goal will soon break through $2,100 and then take off. You will wish you had bought gold below $2,000 an ounce. Next stop, gold 3,700. Bitcoin is testing 30,000. The next stop for Bitcoin, 135,000. Silver from $23 to $68 an ounce. The savers of fake dollars are effed. Please tell your friends to wake up and to take care. Now let's just discuss this prediction real quick. So we currently have the gold price probably just south of $2,000 an ounce, right? So he's ultimately saying he can see gold almost double to $3,700. That's a 2X. Now with Bitcoin currently at 30,000, he sees Bitcoin going right to 135,000. So that's 30, 60, 90, 120. That's more than 4X. So he's basically saying he believes that gold will likely 2X and Bitcoin will more than 4X. So if you were in investor, what do you feel is a better investment, Bitcoin or gold? Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments right down below, and let's break this baby down. Uh, so yeah, on Tuesday, Kiyosaki explained on X that inflation makes the poor and middle class poorer because they work for saved dollars. Yet inflation makes the rich richer. But why? Because today's rich work for and save gold, silver, and Bitcoin. And on several occasions, he referred to fiat currency, including the USD, as fake money. That's because it is fake money. It's backed by absolutely nothing. They just print more as money printer continue to go. And appreciate that, Robbie P, for the $10 Super Chat contribution. Much love and much respect. So shout out to Robbie P. Appreciate that, fam. Now, while regarding gold as silver as God's money and Bitcoin as people's money, the famous author also previously emphasized that crypto is the future while predicting that fiat currency is toast. 
Adios. <laughs> he has repeatedly sounded the alarm about the potential demise of the U.S. dollar. He's been preaching that for decades, fam. And last month, Rich Dad said he expects Bitcoin to become priceless. That means infinity, kind of like the Ethereum max supply, only this is the Bitcoin price. When the Federal Reserve launches a central bank digital currency, which we all know is coming, down the pipeline. Massive shout out to Zero Dollar G Row. I appreciate the... Uh, Super chat contribution. You guys are absolutely amazing. So much love and much respect, fam. He also advised investors to purchase Bitcoin today, forecasting a surge in crypto, a demand as stocks, bonds, and real estate markets crash. Rich Dad has made several predictions regarding the prices of Bitcoin, gold, and silver, as I cover in the show. Back in August, he stated that should the global economic crisis occur, the price of Bitcoin would surge to $1 million per coin, with gold reaching 75000 Again, way more upside potential for Bitcoin versus gold. Just pointing out the obvious. He also says he sees silver climbing to $60,000. And in February, he said that the price of Bitcoin is expected to reach $500,000 per coin by 2025, which virtually means within two years, while gold is anticipated to climb to $5,000 and silver is projected to reach $500 within that same time frame. So like I like to say, send it and let's freaking go. If that gets you excited, fam, let me know. Obviously, it excites the heck out of me when we start talking about $500,000, $1 million price predictions. And speaking of $1 million Bitcoin price predictions, now let's break down our feature story of the day. I actually have a couple of different analysts who agree that Bitcoin is likely trending towards $1 million per coin off of the back of the BlackRock ETF approval in the United States. So again, shout out to Robbie P and for all of you guys contributing you can see the shout outs live on the screen. Uh, definitely makes me smile. So thank you, fam. Much love, much respect. So yeah, let's dive into now our breaking story of the day and discuss this big price prediction for the King Crypto. Now we have this crypto analyst. He pointed out that the Bitcoin market cap climbed rapidly following the fake news recently of the spot Bitcoin ETF approval. Now recall that on Monday, media outlet Cointelegraph made a post on X saying the US SEC approved the BlackRock iShares spot Bitcoin. ETF filing. And immediately following this, the price of Bitcoin surged above 30000 literally climbing over 2500 bucks in price action in a matter of minutes. And over $50 billion was added to the crypto market caps. And as he points out, going by Bitcoin's reaction to this news, which eventually turned out to be fake, the analyst was able to draw a parallel for what might happen when spot Bitcoin ETFs are approved for real. That's right. Quoting him here on crypto Twitter, main takeaway of the day, Bitcoin's market cap went up by more than $50 billion. Wow, in minutes. And very likely the money flowing into Bitcoin was less than 500 million with a ratio of 100 to 1. Shout out to Bring Facts. I appreciate the, the doobie doe super chat contribution. And shout out to Passive Income with AI. I appreciate the super chat contribution. You guys are amazing. Continuing with the analysts, a former BlackRock director said we can expect 150 to $200 billion flowing into Bitcoin within three years after the Bitcoin ETFs are approved. Now, keeping this same ratio with $200 billion, we would have a market cap of 21 trillion. So the Bitcoin price would be $1 million per coin. Now, surely on the way up, there will be many people selling, but this is already directionally clear how much could be the effect of the Bitcoin ETFs being approved. And someone chimed in, if you want it to say 21 trillions, you need 21 trillions. Miracles don't exist. The analyst responded, no way. You don't understand how the capital markets work. We absolutely don't need $21 trillion to have a market cap of 21 trillion. Again, you don't understand how the market works. And he also asked, do you really think that today in a few minutes, there were 50 billion flowing into Bitcoin? And I think the analyst makes a great point. Now, here's another analyst by the name of Invest Answers. Shout out to Invest answers in his YouTube channel. He says that spot Bitcoin ETFs can send the Bitcoin price skyrocketing by over 3,200%. I'm going to be sharing his timeline right here because he's ultimately calling for a million dollar Bitcoin price. But back to the other analysts, he's ultimately uh, projecting this million dollar price target within the next three years, which is an important detail I don't want to leave out. So actually, let me scroll down to the, uh, the nitty gritty here. Uh, about when this might happen, the analyst reverts to Larry Fink's statement when Fink made his forecast that 150 to 200 billion could flow into Bitcoin. He said this could happen over a three-year period. So hypothetically, if a spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved in 2024, which they're saying there's now over a 90% chance of this happening, as Bloomberg analysts believe, then the 
price of Bitcoin can reach this $1 million mark in 2027 to 2028 if it goes as planned. Quoting him again, surely on the way up, there will be many people selling. But this is already directionally clear how many could be the effect of the Bitcoin ETF being approved. I agree with the analysts. Obviously, I am very bullish, major catalyst incoming. But back to Invest Answers with his projection of Bitcoin soaring over 3,200% off the back of this ETF as well. So here we go. Invest Answers predicts the approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF triggering massive inflows from the Wall Street giants. He shares with his half a million subs that Fidelity Investments, Charles Schwab, Citadel, Deutsche Bank, BlackRock, uh, Namora, and Franklin Templeton collectively have $25.22 trillion in assets under management. That's a serious amount of capital. I mean, the numbers don't lie. You can see Fidelity with $4.5 trillion. And in yesterday's episode, I shared a $1 billion price prediction coming from a senior analyst over at Fidelity. Charles Schwab. Wow. I didn't know they had that much. They actually have $7 trillion. That makes Charles Schwab the second largest asset manager in the world and Fidelity being the third, with the first clearly being BlackRock with roughly $10 trillion in assets under management. So, According to the analysts, if the seven Wall Street firms allocated just a percentage point, 1% of their total assets under management to the spot Bitcoin ETFs in the first year after the April 2024 Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin can surge by approximately 3,200% from the current levels in less than half a decade. Quoting him here, if the Wall Street giants allocate a half a percent of assets under management that many believe they will probably do very easily. That's right. I'm anticipating more like two to 5% when they start dipping their toes in the water. And eventually over time, it could be 10%, 20%, 50%, and like Ricardo Salinas, above 50% of his total portfolio. And especially with the connections of pension funds, et cetera, that need some type of alpha to dig their pension funds out of the hole, or else they're just going to go backward and become defunct. This is the assumption that a half a percent of assets under management goes into the first year from April 2024 all the way up. And if this happens just for that first year, the demand will spike for the price of Bitcoin by April 2028. And considering there'll be another they're having and around that time as well as that's four years after 2024, right fam? And again, assuming that just a half a percent allocation happens within the first year and another half a percent in the second year, et cetera, which I would consider conservative, wouldn't you? That will take us to the price of $920,000 per Bitcoin in the year. 2028. Now, what would happen hypothetically if they decided to do like one whole percentage point of their assets under management the first year and the second year? Then we can double that number. And we're talking about like $1.8 million per Bitcoin. So send it and let's freaking go. And when the Wall Street giants can start buying Bitcoin, should spot Bitcoin ETFs get the green light? The analyst says, and one of the senior execs over at BlackRock said they will get that spot ETF in the next three to six months. And as I've said, it has to be before the halving. BlackRock doesn't want to come in after the halving. They know that's when the fireworks go off. Preach. So there you have it. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Invest Answers and to watch this video he did on Stoppable Bitcoin Demand and Trio of Bull 2028 Prediction. Check the show notes below the video in the description, but it doesn't stop there. I got more predictions for you, fam. Here's what Max Kaiser had to share when we just hit an all-time high hash rate of 440 quintillion uh, exahashes per second. Max shared that the implied hash rate adjusted price at 440 quintillion exahashes per second is $340,000 per coin. So let me know if you agree. He's basically saying the true value right now of Bitcoin is 340000 not this $30,000 nonsense, which means you have an opportunity to stack sats and an extreme discount right now. And also, here is another prediction. This one is coming from podcaster Stephen Levera. He wrote, or not wrote, but he was recently interviewed by Kitco News. Here's what he shared. It is quite possible, in my view, the Bitcoin comes close to the range of gold, and that would imply a price in the five hundred to $600,000 range. Now, as is tradition in this industry, we will probably hit that as a blow off top and then drop another 80% and then they asked him, so are you projecting 500,000 per Bitcoin? And he responded, I think it could happen in 2025. So there you have it, fam. Let me know if you agree or disagree with the analyst that we can potentially see a 500,000 to $1 million Bitcoin price within the next two years. Holla at your boy in that live chat. Now let's dive into our Q&A session. Massive shout out to everyone interacting. Massive shout out for everyone with the super chat contributions, all the new subscribers. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. If you are gaining value out of today's show, smash that like. It helps out tremendously with a YouTube algorithm. Shout out to Robbie P. Shout out to Crypto McCrypto. Shout out to Bring Facts. Shout out to Tay Wei. Zero dollar G-Row. What it do? 
I'm going to start reading all as many comments as I can out loud as I promised you at the beginning of the show. Shout out to Ahmed from Africa, East Africa in the building, Somalia. Appreciate you tuning in, supporting the movement. Passive Income AI, Streamlabs, that's what's up. Good to note. Good interaction. Good stuff. What up? Let's freaking go. Bitcoin is heating up. And moderator Streamlabs is actually... (laughs) <laughs> that is not spam. Streamlabs is set up through the new streaming software. Maybe every so many minutes I have an auto um, live chat thing, like don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't need to moderate them. That is actually a moderator. It's an automated moderator to help with the interaction in the live chat. So no need to delete or block anything from Streamlabs. Streamlabs is a part of the moderation moving forward because I am now streaming using Streamlabs. I used to use OBS. And what happened was, this is why I didn't have a show the other day, I updated my OBS for the latest updates. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna you know, update all this. I updated my operating system and guess what? It stopped working because it's not combat- compatible updating all of the new stuff. It just stopped working altogether. Shout out to Dollar Zero G Row, awesome show. Top content brother, appreciate that. Much love, much respect. Everyone show a zero dollar G Row some love. So yeah, long story short, I had to get new streaming software, but all for the better. I learned how to use it. Yesterday, we had awful audio quality. It was just a simple setting. I fixed it, and now the show's better than ever. We're also streaming live in 1080p, unlike before, so the quality should be top notch. Let me know your feedback, and I appreciate another Super Chat contribution. You are the man, zero dollar G Row. Appreciate you guys. Relax and station, welcome. Digital Dankness. Always a pleasure. That's right. I appreciate that. We are a moderator. Shout out to all the mods. TS, what it do? Sherry, welcome. Long term hodlers in the building. Jay Ivy, good to see you as well. Grant Dunn, what's good? Bring facts. Chill, chill. Craziness. Grant Dunn, thanks so much for your hard work. You are not appreciated enough for all your news and market research and reporting every day. I greatly appreciate the feedback, fam. Means the world to me. Uh, what it do, Robbie? I have a small link position. Good to note, Johnny Rico. That's what's up. Diamond Hands here. Shout out to Bring Facts. Appreciate you, brother. I'm here because I keep getting people to hit me up, telling me, bros, keep playing my tune. And I, oh, that's Robbie, the musician. That's right. We play your Bitcoin slang song on the regular over on Rumble when the stream ends on YouTube. You know how YouTube is with the copyright such. So, but yeah. When we do the after party uncensored, Robbie, you got it. We typically play your track and uh, because I greatly appreciate that song. I'm actually a a big, big L fan. And obviously who did the original track was Big L. May he rest in peace. He got shot and murdered many years back. And uh, yeah, anyways, that was a great remix. I greatly appreciate it. And our entire audience does as well. So much love, much respect. Appreciate you, fam. Don't be distracted by anything. Just dollar cost average into Bitcoin and wait till you're rich. Well said, Uber. (laughs) Much love. We love our Bitcoin slang around here. It's fire as what? That's right. Uh, Robbie says, I also dropped Toxic Bitcoin Maxi this year. I'll have to play that and download it. Uh, Shout out. Uh, Appreciate the donations, fam. Shout out to Zero Dollar G Row. I couldn't take your show yesterday. The sound was too bad. I understand, Gun. I don't blame you. It drove me nuts even listening to my own voice yesterday because the audio wasn't set up properly, but today it's all solved. Max Kaiser's worth $800 based on the episode yesterday. Um, If I was to guess, I'd say Max Kaiser is a multi-billionaire, and I'd say that's extremely conservative because he never stopped accumulating Bitcoin in 2013. He just announced becoming a Bitcoin millionaire on the Kaiser Report show. So at that time, maybe he had roughly 20,000 Bitcoin, but I would imagine over the course of the next decade, he'd probably have tens of thousands of more Bitcoin, especially when it was so cheap to get in, especially considering he was gifting his friends, Alex Jones, 10,000 Bitcoin, like it's nothing. And also he gifted Robert Brandt, uh, not Robert Brandt, what's his name? Uh, the guy who recently got uh, blacklisted on social media, again, Russell Brand, he also gave him uh, 1,000 Bitcoin. So that's 11,000 Bitcoin Max just gifted, now worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And I could only imagine how much other Bitcoin he gifted to other friends. And I just wish I was his friend back then. You know what I mean? Who wouldn't want to receive $10,000 Bitcoin as a gift, for Christ's sake? What a good guy. Caroline Ellison is hard. Word. Bitcoin's about to be dropping. Cash like a slot. 10 out of 100. What are you referring to there, Glenn? Uh, 
Oh, trillion. Word. I don't understand how some SBF kid could do what he did with his parents are SEC lawyers. That's because they were all colluding. It was an inside job, clearly. Um, I think regulators were obviously working with Bankman Fried and FTX to allow it to get as big as it did. And they were just turning the other cheek and allowing him to get away with all the criminal activity he did. Because how can the SEC and Gary Gensler, who was having repeated meetings behind closed doors with SBF, allow all this to go on. No accounting, no accountability, just again, turning the other cheek and allowing the fraud because they wanted to usher in unlawful regulation as part of uh, Operation Choke Point 2.0. I do firmly uh, believe that. So I think a lot of shenanigans and a lot of colluding was going on in the inside. But let me know your thoughts, fam. Yeah, it's very interesting to say the least. Listening in New Orleans, shout out to Robert Brady. Appreciate that. $56,000 Bitcoin, bring it. He bought Binance with other people's funds. He sure did. He gave CZ FTT, the scam token. <laughs> he was scamming everyone. Even Scaramucci got scammed by Bankman Freed. Name an influencer who didn't get scammed by that guy. You know what I mean? I'll wait. <laughs> so you think he'll get a sentence, then live it up in some offshore island? I don't know what's likely to play out. It makes you wonder, because I think his his parents are implicit. I think Gary Gensler, as the chairman of the SEC, is implicit. And I think a lot of higher-ups we don't even know of yet are also involved. So it makes me wonder, does he just get a slap on the wrist with a little bit of probation? Or is he going to serve a real sentence? I'd like to see the justice system prevail. And uh, you know what I mean? If he is found guilty, get a sentence that is legit and that he can't just you know, throw some important names out there. But Gary Gensler told me to do it. Yeah, you know I mean, so it'll be interesting, but we'll see how it plays out, fam. Yeah, I hope that right now along the top isn't going to be there, at least not while you scroll. If so, eliminate the advantage of getting rid of the bottom. Uh, so what are you referring to there? So I don't know what you mean. If you break that down again, JV is a maxi. So let's see if he digs it when he hits the chat a little later. I am digging. I am digging it, guys. When ETF is the million dollar question, I think most likely early 2024. Everyone's predicting in January. I just say I never expect things to happen when the consensus is all expecting and anticipating it. But for all we know, the ETF can get approved even sooner than we're anticipating. So let's see. But if I was to bet, I'd put a bet that the ETF ETF gets the approval before the Bitcoin halving, but that doesn't mean that the products will be ready to go and to be invested in. So I don't know how much longer after the fact that will take. So it'll be interesting, but we'll keep you posted. We'll see how it plays out. Probably January says bring uh, says zero dollar. I am a Dragon Ball Z guy and my Bitcoin maxi. I only buy sell for Gohan. Shout out. <laughs> to good Dragon Ball Z. My dog before Nipsey, when I was younger, his name was Gohan, also a very big uh, Dragon Ball Z fan. So you already know. Michael Cerami, what it do? Smash that like for JV. I appreciate that, guys. Much love, much respect. And that is correct. I do have a new Clips channel, which can be found at clips.cryptonewsalerts.net. And we're basically taking clips and shorts from the live stream on the daily here. And we're posting them exclusively to the Clips channel. We already have over 700 subscribers. It's growing fast. In fact, the traffic on the brand new channel, only a month old, already surpassed the traffic from this channel, which has been here for over five years. I personally feel it's because we were shadow banned a while back as we originally crossed 50,000 subscribers back in 2020. Now, like a thousand episodes later, we only have 58,000 subs. So I don't know what's going on on YouTube. That's why we also opened up shop on Rumble for the Uncensored Live as I can speak freely there. Shout out to Robbie P. I appreciate the $10 Super Chat contribution. Says, thanks for letting them peeps know about the Bitcoin slang. Love what you're doing. Man, that's the biggest compliment. Shout out to Robbie P. And I can't thank you enough as typically virtually every show on Rumble we play your track and it gets a tremendous amount of compliments. So I just appreciate the hard work you're doing behind the scenes. So much love and respect. Show Robbie some love. And if you want to drop your link to your YouTube channel in the live chat, well, I'll go subscribe and show you love there as well. I know I'm already subscribed, but I would recommend everyone else watching the show also subscribe. Uh, and let's celebrate their third super on the live stream. How fantastic is that? You guys are freaking awesome. Much love and much respect. Gold is going nowhere. I agree because there's no true price discovery in the gold market. And that's a major problem. Shout out to Adam Wild. What a do fam. Shout out to Cushy. Shout out to Dennis. What's up? Good to see you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, what it do. TS. Welcome. 
Gold has gone nowhere on four years when I purchased it, huddling until the profit. That's right, because the markets are manipulated, because gold undermines the value of the U.S. dollar. And if they allow escape, uh, escape velocity on gold in the market, then everyone would take their money out of dollars who was holding on to dollars and put it into gold, and it would collapse the U.S. dollar market. There would be bank runs, and this is no good for those that control the money printers. So they have to spoof the markets. They have companies uh, on Wall Street, such as JP Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the United States, and they pay north of $900 million fines, getting caught red-handed with their hand in the cookie jar, basically spoofing the precious metal markets. And as I mentioned earlier, the only market with true price discovery is Bitcoin. And when we have a spot ETF in the United States, it's going to be true price discovery, no manipulation, complete game changer. And that's what we all want and what we've been anticipating for a long time. Shout out to Passive Income with AI. I appreciate the Super Chat contribution. You want to see your name? That's how you do it. All you got to do is send a Super Chat. There's many ways to do it. You also notice there's new ways of contributing contributing to the show as well. And if you look in the description, you'll notice a new tip link I just set up. For anyone who wants to send a tip through credit card or debit card, we now accept tips. And if you put your YouTube username in that first box in the tips page, you're going to get a shout out integrated into the Streamlabs software, just like everyone else. So doesn't matter how you contribute, you're going to get recognition, which I think is pretty cool. Also, we have a Patreon. Patreon, which can be found at patreon.cryptonewsletters.net. If you want to show your support that way, that's another way to support the movement. And another way is through the Lightning wallet. You can zap sats to me. I actually have my Lightning network uh, thing in the description uh, down below as well. And I think this is my Lightning wallet. Let me see if I could uh, push this up here. So if anyone scans that, you can actually do it. The only thing, it's not integrated through Streamlabs yet, the Lightning QR code, so it's not gonna give you a shout out. I have to manually shout you out after I check my email to even know I receive a Super Chat uh, or a uh, Lightning uh, QR code. So that's something I'm, I'm gonna be working on. But nonetheless, if you don't know, now you know. And uh, so yeah, <laughs> with that being shared, again, shout out to everyone. Appreciate you guys. Good to see. Bitcoin is math. Math always wins. You know that. Welcome, Melda. Good to see you. Chris D., how do? How does that work where the market cap thing doesn't need to be 21 trillion? Great question. We already covered that in the story. I don't have it pulled up in front of me, but clearly you can hit the rewind button at any time. What up, Crypto News Alerts fam? Shout out to J-Dub the Laker. Shout out to my nephew, Grayson, who's listening to Crypto News Alerts for the first time. Shout out to Grayson. Much love and respect. Your man, J-Dub the Laker, is the man. Much love, much respect. A good doobie can send you skyrocketing at a big number percent too. A big, big number too. Too high to pin it down. Appreciate to bring facts. Appreciate all the doobie dough, all the sats. I'm going to be stacking. Much love, much respect. My boating app accident is like Thursday or Friday every week. Completely understand facts. Welcome to the club. There is no cap on the dollar supply. That's right, Robbie. Uh, fiat has no bottom and therefore Bitcoin has no top. You already know. Tom says, Charlie Munger recently said Bitcoin is the stupid investment ever. For me, that's a signal to buy more. That's right, Tom. I shared that yesterday in the show. <laughs> Charlie Munger, the worst investment of all time, says 99-year-old man who still drinks Diet Coke. How are you even alive drinking a diet soda at 99 years old with all that aspartame? Beyond my comprehension, but hey, Charlie Munger's doing it. I don't know what type of medical attention this guy has, but incredible. With a spot Bitcoin ETF, can they sell you non-existing Bitcoin as uh, uh, just another fool? No, they're going to have to sell you the real deal with the spot Bitcoin ETF. Only futures can they sell you fake Bitcoin that doesn't really sit there through derivatives. And we all know derivatives is financial weapons of mass destruction, as Warren Buffett once said. Tell Munger I'll take his Bitcoin off of him for free. I feel you, dog. I feel you. <laughs> and you're looking at 19, holy moly, crazy big number market cap for Bitcoin because total supply of Bitcoin is 19 and a half million ATM. Word up. They're bashing Bitcoin while loading their bags. You know, I went to a doctor. He told me I have a case of the Mungers. I sold my gold, converted it into Bitcoin and was cured of that horrible STD. There you go. Bring facts gets comment of the day. That's freaking hilarious. <laughs> this gold parody has always been talked about heaps, but what if gold is like 75,000, like Kiyosaki says, it's a possibility, but I highly doubt it because the gold market is completely manipulated. So the powers that be control the price 
of gold. And they can also uh, control the supply, right? All they got to do is invest more money into finding more gold, and then you have more gold being introduced into the market. And that's why, unlike Bitcoin, which has a finite limited supply, if they can continue to introduce more gold to the market every year, is it really a scarce asset? Yeah, to a certain degree, but nothing in comparison to Bitcoin, making it, you know what I mean, the most scarce uh, form of money to ever exist. There has never been money or perfect money, I should coin it, with a finite limited supply. This is the first time in existence this has ever happened. You know what I mean? Shout out to the mods. That's what's up. Shout out to Maximus, Dankness, and all the mods doing their job. Appreciate it. Super clean audio and video. Thank you, Robbie, and glad to hear it's coming out clean. Good to note, especially with all the technical difficulties we have had. Shout out to the new subscribers. G Khan, I appreciate you, fam. Subscribe into the live show. Let's get it. Here's to a seven-figure Bitcoin price. Let's go. Seven figures sounds sexy to me. Kendrick Moore, what up, JV? Thanks for all your hard work. Uh, between you and George and giving pep talks, I have DCA'd over four million little Satoshis. Diamond hands. Let's freaking go, Kendrick. Massive congratulations. Transacting now. Shout out to Felix Hopkins. ETV, Bitcoin is for the people. It is the only thing you need to know. Amen. Well said. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Much respect. Shout out to Mr. Sincerely. I'm guessing it was very complicated problem with the mics yesterday. It was the simplest thing ever. My settings in Streamlabs, it had two of the same outputs from the microphone. So it was two mics. It duplicated it into another audio. So all I had to do was mute one channel with the second mic, and now we're perfect. And I couldn't figure that out in the middle of the stream. And I apologize. I felt like crap for it because I had to make an executive decision. I'm like, yo, do I just not do another show two days in a row due to technical difficulties? It would drive me crazy. Or do I create the content with the worst audio to ever exist? And to my surprise, I got all thumbs up. I didn't get any thumbs down. Even on Rumble, everyone thumbs up with the shitty, oh, sorry, with the bad audio. And I'm like, wow. So I guess the message is more important than the quality. But now that we got the quality and the message on point, game on. I'm anticipating all the likes in the world, all the subs in the world. Let's get this channel to 100,000 subs. You know I deserve it. The only reason I haven't gotten there, I believe, is because we've been uh, shadow banned. And it's very unfortunate. But hey, there seems to be a war against Bitcoin. It's just the nature of the beast. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? Shout out to Hoddle Mike, Michigan in the building. Appreciate you. Buy Dogelon Mars. Why is that? You want to pump your bags, Corey? <laughs> Dogelon Mars. That's the funniest uh, you know, a name of a, a crypto. I will give it to you. I was so close to buying 250 Bitcoin for $2 each, but was too hard to get money from AUD to Mount Gox. Oh, my God. So, Robbie, you're a true Bitcoin OG. So what year did you pull the trigger and start stacking sats? Shout out to Lightning Z Productions. I appreciate the subscribe. Much love, much respect. Hope you come here every day and enjoy the show. Wow. Shout out to Robbie. You're That's amazing. Very uh, convenient. Alex lost his Bitcoin. What a coincidence. I lost my entire cold card. Exactly. Yeah. So Alex Jones claims he lost the 10,000 Bitcoin he put on a laptop that Max Kaiser gifted him. Personally, we all know Alex Jones is too smart to just disregard Bitcoin out of all things. But hey, we all lose it to boating accidents. So it's all good. Totally, JV. Shout out to Spycraft. Appreciate you, fam. Yeah, he lost his laptop. Good thing, too, since he is not protected by bankruptcy. <laughs> Facts, JV. No, $2 Bitcoin. So $500 total. But Mt. Gox wire transfers were shady. Completely understand. It was actually a difficult process to acquire Bitcoin, hence why it was probably so cheap back then, as the easier it becomes to acquire it, the higher the price goes up. Interesting how that works. Uh, SBF is the fall guy. Look at him. It was so obvious. I agree with Spycraft on that 100%. Things that make you go, hmm, SBF was guilty and a patsy. I agree. Bring facts. Dragon Ball Z. That's right. Adam Wilde, the greatest cartoon to ever exist. Shout out to uh, DBZ. <laughs> no, you need one Bitcoin, says Crypto Surge. Word up to 200,000 in microsecond. Send it. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, I seen some subs come through. Massive props. This is a real community. Thank you, Robbie. Appreciate you. We also have a tremendous community on Discord. It's free to join the server. It can be found at discord.cryptonewsalerts.net. Join the Discord. There's many channels that you could uh, participate in. Also, we're going to be having a $100,000 Bitcoin fiesta when Bitcoin hits that six-figure milestone. And everyone's invited to party with us for the fiesta over here in Puerto Rico. You can get more details for that in the Discord. You'll notice there 
there's a Discord uh, channel already created called 100,000 Fiesta. So I look forward to seeing you in there. Bitcoin and silver, says ETV. And gold, the money in silver can make you more in Bitcoin. I subbed Robbie. Appreciate that. You guys show him love. Let's blow up his channel. One of the greats. Just another fool with the spot Bitcoin ETF. They can sell you non-existing Bitcoin. No. With futures ETFs, they can sell you non-existing Bitcoin. And that's precisely what they do. Paper Bitcoin through derivatives. No different than FTT coin. You know what I mean? That Bankman Fried was doing on his uh, exchange. And so with the spot ETF, you can't manipulate it. It's true price discovery. Meaning if BlackRock wants to sell you a Bitcoin, they have to be holding on to the underlying asset. That's the difference. There has never existed true price discovery in an ETF market. That's another factor that makes Bitcoin that much more bullish. Also add in another bullish catalyst. There is a supply shock. There is a very limited amount of Bitcoin on the exchanges right now, less than 2 million to be exact. And when you have massive uh, you know, asset managers that control over 20 trillion in assets under management, they're all going to be fighting for the Bitcoin. And you already know over 80% of them have diamond hands that are not selling regardless. So it's going to be very difficult to get your hands on Bitcoin. And when you have all of those catalysts occurring at around that same time, the price is going to go up substantially because you have a finite limited supply with a massive demand that drives price up. It's basic stock to flow. You know what I mean? Much respect to Robbie for keep spreading the holy gospel of Satoshi 100%. Don't let one Bitcoin discourage you. Do the best you can with Bitcoin. That's right. Even if you just got to get off the sidelines and into the game, even $500, $100, anything in Bitcoin is better than zero Bitcoin, right? 0.01 Bitcoin is better than zero Bitcoin. 0.001 Bitcoin is better than no Bitcoin. 0.1 Bitcoin is better than no Bitcoin. One Bitcoin will always be equivalent to one Bitcoin. So just keep stacking them sats and never look back would be my advice to anyone just entering into this market right now and have a long term perspective. Clearly, Bitcoin is not get rich quick. Anyone looking to get rich quick is going to end up FOMOing and selling to BlackRock <laughs> or any of the major institutions, the Fidelities, the Charles Schwab's, the MicroStrategies, et cetera. And you will get wrecked just as the majority of the market does. But this is a fact. Every single Bitcoin hodler that has hodled their Bitcoin for four years or longer, an entire cycle is in the green. So my thinking, have a long-term perspective, a, a minimal of 10 years if you're going to be holding Bitcoin. So you're in the game for at least two Bitcoin halvings, and you're more than likely going to have tremendous gains, right? Bitcoin Bitcoin went from virtually being worth nothing 14 years ago to soaring over 69 million percent, reaching that all-time high back in November of 2021. The markets are that much more bullish now. The hash rate is stronger. The institutions are coming. The difference, right? We had SBF dumping all of the Bitcoin from the FTX exchange, manipulating the markets, probably colluding with Gary Gensler to suppress the Bitcoin price action at under 20K. This time, we don't have that bad actor in the space that's going to be dumping their Bitcoin and replacing it with with an ish coin to suppress the market price, which leads me to believe if Bankman Freed wasn't screwing the entire crypto community with his scamming and dumping and offloading all of his Bitcoin, which you were uploading to the FTX exchange, Bitcoin could have soared as high as 100,000. Easy peasy. I think we stopped at 69,000 due to the manipulation. So this time is different. And this time is that much more stronger. So I couldn't be more bullish for the King Crypto, but I'd love to know your thoughts, fam. Let me know in the comments right down below. And we got so much more chat. I can't even get to it all, but the after party shall continue over on Rumble. So let's all head on over to Rumble for uncensored live Q&A for crypto news alerts, as well as my JV React session for the day. The link is rumble.cryptonewsalerts.net or simply go to Rumble, type in crypto news alerts. It's the channel with over 900 followers. There are imposters, be aware. The imposters typically have like less than 100 followers on their channel. So it's easy and clear to see who an imposter is. Again, the real channel over on Rumble has over 900 uh, followers. We're approaching 1,000. Hopefully, we can hit that number today. I look forward to seeing you over on Rumble. I am out. YouTube. Deuces.